Hi, today we'll do an example in JavaFX. Uh, we'll be creating a, we'll demonstrate the use of one handler for multiple buttons. So we'll start with uh, just the main class. We're just going to use one class. So we'll import JavaFX.application dot application then import javafx dot event dot action event then import javafx dot geometry dot pos Then import JavaFX dot scene dot scene. Import JavaFX dot scene dot control dot button. Then import JavaFX dot scene dot layout dot flow pane then import JavaFX dot stage dot stage so we'll just write the class public class main extends application Then uh, public, then we'll create some variables actually. So we'll just create the stage primary stage. Then we'll create a private button. Uh, red button one. And blue button to uh, blue button one. So then we'll create a a layout container. So private flow pane pane, or we can call it root. I think it's our root node. Uh, it is our root node. The flow pane, yeah, I think there's a capital on that. Then root, we'll call it root. And we'll create a, a start method, so public void start. It takes stage, primary stage. We'll say this dot primary stage equals to primary stage. And we'll, we'll call red button one. So red button one equals to new button and the button constructor, well at least this one it takes a string. So we'll just say uh, red And then we'll call our event handler we haven't created yet. So we'll say uh, red button one dot set on action. We'll use a method reference. Uh, so we're going to create an event handler here. Uh, you can also do it with a, a, an, a private inner class or a separate class that implements the action event interface. It's the uh, that would implement the action event. Oh no, it, it would implement the event handler interface and take a generic abstract event type or an action. So it, it would implement the event handler interface and take a action event generic type parameter and angle brackets, but we're not going to do that. That's unnecessary. 
we can just use the this operator and use the method uh, use the method reference so the method reference approach is the easiest approach but sometimes a lambda might be easier depending on what you're trying to do but in this case it's easier because it would be easier than a lambda because we have the same event handler that's going to process the events for the for two buttons but if you're using a lambda expression you would have to basically write out the same thing twice so we'll just do it this way so we'll, we'll just call this and then shift semicolon semicolon then we'll call it process uh, button buttons or just button events process button events and then semicolon but it doesn't know what the method is right now because we haven't created it so we'll come back and create it so all we're doing is we're, we're instantiating a new button called red button one we're setting the string basically its label to red and then like on the button there's going to be a string that says red that's going to be displayed to the user and we're saying red button dot set on action so you can look up the set on action method for it's not telling me what it is here for some reason uh, but all it does is it every time you click the button it's going to uh, create an event and then the event handler is going to respond to the event basically it's listening for the the event once it hears the event it's going to respond to it and we'll say what what's going to happen once when it responds to it what it's going to do we'll say that in a sec so then here we'll do the same for blue button so blue button one equals to new button the string it takes is blue or basically it's label but it's not called a label and then we'll just say blue button one dot set on action we'll use the method reference again to this button so this and then process button events or could just say event but since there's two buttons I guess we could say events just to show that normally we say just process button event or something but since there's two buttons we can say that it's processing events so two different events then we'll call out we'll call our layout container uh, root we'll set it equal to new flow pane and we'll pass in our nodes so red button one and blue button one then we'll say root dot set alignment so we'll set the alignment of the root node to pos.center then we'll set the h gap sorry not flow root uh, dot set h gap so the horizontal gap in pixels between the buttons between the nodes or the buttons the button nodes we'll set it to like uh, 25 pixels Then we'll say uh, root. We'll use a formatting string on the set style operator. So we'll say, uh, or the set style method. So we'll say root dot set style, and it takes a formatting string. So we'll say dash fx dash background. You could also do this in the scene, but sometimes this way is easier because you don't have to import color. I think so uh, dash FX dash background dash color uh, shift semicolon and the background color uh, we're changing the color when we click the button so I guess default we could just say that it's like cyan or something oh yeah so when you do the color here I think it's lowercase 
and then we use the scene to create the color object that has to be capital but we can just try b both ways so then we'll say scene scene equals new scene we'll pass in the root node and we'll change the size of the window so why don't we say like 500 by 500 and we'll say primary stage dot set title so it set the title of the window Oh, I can just call it like color changer like some kind of widget or something and we'll say primary stage dot set scene to scene then we'll say primary stage dot show to display the scene on the monitor then we'll create our event handler here so we'll say public void process what do we call it button events takes the action event event as a parameter so then we can we'll say if We'll use the get source method, so if event dot get source. So if the source of the event is equal to red button one, then we'll say pain dot set style I mean sorry root dot set style. To uh, we'll just put the formatting string in here basically again. We'll just change the color. So dash fx dash background dash color the American way to spell it then crimson that's like a reddish color I think uh, then we'll say uh, that's it actually then else open square brackets uh, root dot set style again same thing we're just changing it to blue so dash fx dash background dash color to blue and that's it we'll save and run it uh, you won't be able to see it on my screen again because I just have a game recorder so it only records uh, the Windows recorder for Windows 10 it only records uh, one screen at a one uh, application at a time or one program so if you run it you'll see a window pop up that's like a cyan color it's kind of like a very light blue uh, so then or like a greenish blue or something it's like a light turquoise color so then when you click the red button it changes to red the, the whole window changes to red and you click the blue button the whole window changes to blue it's kind of cool uh, we could have made the buttons a little bigger uh, but that's okay because if you make the window smaller it looks a bit better so here we could just see we say if uh, this works if it's capital I don't think it will but we'll try it might I always do a lowercase so never tried it and so it does work I guess so can this whole thing be capital perhaps we could try it I guess well, why not so FX background color still it's not getting an error but it doesn't really get an error in this string for some reason because it seems to be like a formatting string still works oh I just changed take it take an R off there 
see if it still works. Okay, so it didn't work and the default color was black, I believe. Of the window, yeah, so the default color didn't work. I mean, the color didn't work, the default color was black, so it, it does. It doesn't mind capitals, so you could do without capitals with capitals. So again, a window will pop up. There'll be a minimize, maximize, and a close button on the top right corner. So three buttons, you can minimize, maximize, or close. The window, the, the title of the window says color changer. Uh, the style of the window and stuff, it depends on your operating system, I think. But for Windows, it just has like a program kind of color. So it has a, the window, uh, has a program color, uh, just like a icon, I guess, but it's, you could probably change it, but the icon of this window is just like a default kind of Windows icon it almost looks like when you click the command prompt like from the run uh the run configuration it kind of looks like that but if you're using a mac it'll probably look different or linux it'll look different so i hope that helps i'll see you guys next time take care